Hey everyone, my name is Julia, I'm a painter and 3D artist and welcome back to my CG Bear channel. Not many people here know that I work in the game dev industry. Mostly I work with the graphics for video games makes 3D models as well as concept art. You really like my last video about 3D environment creation in Blender and the main character of this video was a racing car that I made in Blender before. This video is a part of a series of tutorials that includes working with a reference, 3D modeling low poly and high poly, UV unwrapping and also, if you're interested, I can show you texturing in Substance Painter, including baking normals. The next video with 3D modeling of the car will be released on my channel very soon. In this video, you will learn how to come up with ideas based on the reference, for what parts you have to pay attention. I will explain everything about reference and about my experience in that so far. What is interesting for the player and the viewers? What do you have to pay attention for? What scene you have to know in the beginning before you start modeling? So you don't need to spend a lot of time finding out later. And my favorite one, there is no bad ideas. It's all about execution and consistency. So you can keep the same style. If you don't believe me, I will show you today. Personal for me, it's really good to share all my knowledge that I learned so far working in the industry as well as just give you some ideas to think about and I really hope you will come up with some ideas that will lead you to better results for your growth. I think it's very important to the artist to be creative and be able to make a car just looking on the reference. I need it's crucial for the artist to have the ability to change the car, to play with the forms, to be able to understand how to pick the reference and what you have to look for. Before you start search for reference, you should have an idea, the vision of the model that you want. Basically, it means that you need at least to know do you want to model a car, a train or a plane? On my stage, I decided that I want to model a car. It's not only a car, I want a racing car. I want to have a big engine and I want the car to look cool. I didn't know anything about what colors I want, probably orange or blue or maybe red, maybe green. It doesn't matter right now because everything is a hat. Everything is starting here. I usually use Pinterest. When you have the idea, you just go there and search racing car. When you already found a car, you should go further and dig deeper. It can start from what you personally like, what can fit your project and what can be consistent to this project because it's very important. You cannot make a car that doesn't fit the, the world or doesn't fit the style because it wouldn't be natural, it would be different, it would doesn't feel right. I'm talking more about gaming industry but it can be applied to any industry in general. When you pick your reference or you make your concept art, you have always think about how the player will interact with the model. What this exactly means is, with my example, if I build a racing game, I would think the player gonna drive a car most part of the playtime. And if you divide the playtime by the percentage, the most time the player will spend racing, which is actually means the player will see the back of the car on their screen almost all time. Including all the thoughts, I need to make the back of the car look interesting. That's why of the reason why I want to have a big motor on the back and have different exhaust that will have particle effect of the smoke which will look really cool and player will enjoy the picture on the screen. Every time you look at the screen, you have to divide the picture on 
three or four different layers. One of them is the character, the another is attachment for the character, which is, can be anything. The clothes, the weapon, the tires. The main character can be a person, an animal, a car. Then you have environment, which is, can be buildings, different props, the structure that player interacts with. And then you have something that is far away that only creates the atmosphere in the scene. And you also have landscape and terrain and just 2D images in the background. All those layers, if you can call them like that, have different priority in 3D modeling and in 2D as well. The main layer is the main character, so you really want to make the main character look interesting Depending on how the player will interact with the main character, you can make the concept and the model in general cool looking so player will enjoy it. There is good news for the community. I created my Discord channel so now you can join there and be open to talk, to share and learn. You can find interesting link to the resources that might be really useful for you as well as you can share your own artworks and talk to people that work in the industry. Join the Discord channel and be part of the community to learn, to grow, to teach. First of all, I am looking for a shape of the car. What shape of the car do I really like or what the shape of the car will fit my project and keep the consistency of the project. After I pick some shape of the car, I I collected them one folder in Pinterest here and started thinking what actually form do I like better. You can start see that you have different wheels, you have different back of the car, you have different front. And here where the scene started being very interesting because my goal is not make exactly look in the car as in concept, my goal is come up with something new. Look not only for the shape of the cars, but color solution, trick that you would like to apply to your model or models, because sometimes you can find something that will change the whole concept of the car, that will be built around this exact feature. To put all the images on the same page to have the whole picture, you can use for that Photoshop or you can use an app that calls pure ref designed specifically for concepts you just need to drag your concept in here and then you can scale it resize it i'm pretty sure you know about this software so i don't need to explain it you can get it for free or you can make a donation for the developer the advantages of this software compared to others is that it's really very easy to navigate and you can easily move the images in any time you need. So basically, if you need to separate them and just scaling and moving the reference, you can isolate one group from another, which is actually very important because sometimes you just want to focus on Zeus reference instead of focusing on in all of them. In my software, I divided Zeus images on three different groups, which is with Zeus images, I look at how I can make the back part of the car, what the different ideas with the engine and with the exhaust, moving to the second part, what the shape of the car I like and how I want to make it work. And Zeus pieces are the back part of the car. Professional level of reference researching. This is when you can already see what you will make in 3D modeling. You already see what shape, tools, modifiers, what the first shape you will start with and you already know everything about it. What texture method and texture itself you will use. And the most important, how much time do you need. But honestly, everything starts small, so don't worry if you're a beginner, you don't exactly know how that works step by step and you will get there you will learn all the skills the only truth you need to know that nothing should stop you in this process because as long as you go further as long as you keep moving you will get there 
thank you for watching my video i hope it was interesting for you and i hope you found lots of interesting information as well as new ideas for your new artworks it's been a long time of learning and discovering scenes just watching tutorials learning on my own reading the books and exploring thank you for being part of my journey and part of cg bird studio see you in my next video